Hey everyone, this is Peter from Prophetic Watchman 88. Before we get started, please hit like and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. It'd help us out a lot. Thank you. All right, today we're going to get right into this. Uh, the Economist cover, June 27, 2020. Uh, I've been want I wanted to do this actually for a little while, but just so you guys know, um, <laughs> I got hit by the China V, and so uh, I'm still recovering. God is. Uh, doing an amazing job of recovering it hit me harder than i thought but that being said i was like should i get this out or not and i i really believe that the holy spirit was lead me to to go ahead and get this out it's going to be a short video it's just something that uh i i found very very interesting and um when i looked into it i i got some uh some uh, I, what do you want to call it? red flags holy spirit uh, alerts saying hey pay attention to this so let's let's get into this and see what you guys think and, and you guys tell me <laughs> here we go okay now this cover right here the, in the economist it came out on i put the date up there june 27th 2020 in fact it says uh from june 27th to july 3rd 2020 but i'm going from when it re was released Obviously, if you look at this cover, there's a lot of extremely interesting things that jump out at you. But from the top, very, very interesting headlines there. Israel, again, gets our attention always when they're in the news. But just as important, it says the next catastrophe. Now, I'm sure that while well, there is there are a bunch of watchmen that have done different things on this, um, this recently just came came to my attention um, uh, from another watchman, and I, I saw this cover, and I was like, it, something struck me as I was watching this, and I just thought, hey, we need to talk about this because there's something about that date, and uh, and and you'll see what I'm talking about. But before we go there, look at this. There are these nine, let's call them either events, catastrophes, whatever word you want to put on there, but they're all going on right now except for that one that's over here and uh except mushroom cloud that has not happened but uh the talk of it and what uh you know what's going on right now with uh, the nuclear you know all the um the, the commercials and ads that are all out uh, uh in fact they came out in new york i heard they came out in california i haven't personally seen any but someone said they're out in california as well either way you guys go do your own research and and find out what each one of these um, represents. Okay, as you, you can tell, it's very specific. Right here, uh, obviously, it's coming to midnight. We we know what what that one means. Um, the whole virus, bacteria, all the things that are being released um, between the, you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying not to use certain words because, it, believe it or not, it does get flagged and, and they start to put my videos down a little rabbit hole and nobody sees them. So, anyway, go do your own research. Look at these nine different events and they, this, this, they call them a catastrophe and they are. But all together, I think we're getting a message. Now, obviously, uh, the world system, Satan is the god of this world, the world system, okay? And, and, man let's just say man are puppets okay that being said the enemy either likes to tell on himself he likes to brag about what he's about to do or going to do or something uh the 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 spirit realm knows what's going on now on top of that from god's point of view obviously he knows the end from the beginning he's outside of time he knows everything he is never surprised like we are he knows exactly what the enemy is doing, and everything has fallen into line according to the, our Heavenly Father's eternal purpose. Okay, that being said, these events and all these catastrophes are actually taking place right now. And you can call it whatever you want, God's judging the world, whatever you want to say. We know, um, scripturally speaking, that we are living in what's called Daniel's 69th week, okay, the... Uh, the week right before Jacob's trouble starts. Now, all these are, let's just, you know, here's a better way to put it. Let's call these the birth pains. Each one of these is a birth pain, let's just say, as Jesus was describing in the New Testament. And he says, when you see all of these things come about, what does he tell us to do? He says, look up, because your rede redemption draws nine. In other words, he says, your deliverance is here. When you see all these things happening, look up because I'm coming. So, I started thinking, 
and I believe the Holy Spirit was really working on me is like, it's like, there's something bigger than just these events, just this, um, all together, obviously is pointing the arrows to what's happening right now. We're all waiting for the rapture. Obviously Jesus Christ is coming, but I, I, I really want to do something here. So I'm going to go to the next page. So this was released on, like we said, June 27, 2020. God is definitely telling us something. He's, he's given us warnings, okay? So what I did was, I took from that date, I went to the you know our little web tool and, and started putting in uh, uh, numbers. From that date, from the date this was released, so I put in 100 days, I put in 200, 300, 400, all these uh, very famous numbers that you see right here, just to see if anything happened on those dates when those uh, numbers took place. So let's see what I found, if I found anything. Okay, now I'm not gonna go over all these. Now some of these you, you're gonna want to, well, you're gonna wanna research these dates anyway. So 100 days from June 27th, 2020 was October 5th, 2020. Now 100 means God's election of grace, children of the promise, okay, or promise. Now go back there and look at anything in the news or world events, uh, that might have happened on that day and see if it matches up to what the number 100 means, okay? And you'll see there's a reason I'm doing this. I'm, it's pretty cool. And you can do the same thing with 200. Now 200, 200 days from uh, when that, the Economist cover was released, landed us on January 13th, 2021. And 200 means insufficiency of man and sufficiency of God. Very interesting articles on, on that date as well, or around that date. Again, not just that exact date, but go right around that date. Very interesting things that happened in the news and world events. And again, we'll go through this again. 300, 400, now 300 is, signifies um, the final blood sacrifice made by the perfect Lamb of God. And again, I'm not going to go into all these, but I want you guys to go look at some very interesting things that maybe you already know. Put them in the comments. If you already know that certain events happen on these days, go ahead and put it in the comments. I'd love to see what you found. Now I'm going to move on to the next set of numbers because this is where I want to focus on just for a little bit. <laughs> I thought this was interesting, guys. So 600 days from the release of that uh, cover which was June 27, 2020, is February 17th, 2022. Now, 600 means warfare. Do you guys know where I'm going with this right now? Okay, I think you do. What happened around that date? Yes, the Russia-Ukraine war started. So right around this time of February, in fact, the, the, the official date was February 24th, but right around February 17th, 600 days from the release of that was, is warfare. And that's when that started. Now, you could say it's coincidence. All of us know there's no such thing as coincidence. So there you go. Now, the next one was very interesting as well because I saw 666, 666 days was April 24th, 2022. There might've been some other things that happened on this day, but I think this one was very, very uh, significant, let's just say. On that day, Emmanuel Macron, however you want to say that, I, macaroni, uh, whatever you want to call his name, he wins France. Now, why is that important? Well, 666 obviously represents the Antichrist. Now, my wife and I have this list, it's mostly my wife's list, but we have like top five contenders for the Antichrist. And right now, uh, Macron is up there, obviously. But when I saw this date pop up and then he uh, won election, uh, fair or not, I don't care how he, won, if he won, how he got it, but he won it. So, does he represent the Antichrist or the Antichrist spirit? Does he have a part to play right now in this uh, world times, uh, you know, uh, in times events, what's going on right now? I think he does. You guys let me know what you think, but definitely. So these two events, at 600 days uh, warfare and 666 Antichrist, these two things definitely got my attention. Why do I think uh, I'm onto something? Well, let's just see. The, I'm, I'm going to skip 700, but I'm going to go straight to... 777. Now this lands on August 13th, which is what, two days from now? The Trinity of Seven signifies spiritual perfection multiplied in both power and completeness, resulting in a rest found only in the Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ the Messiah. <laughs> I think that's amazing. Now, I'm human, okay? 
But if I uh, were to say would it be a great day to get out of here, it would be that day, August 13th. Now, what also falls right around August 13th, which I think is um, this year, August 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, right in this whole time frame. Um, is it Tuba Av, if I'm saying it correctly? And if I, I, at a high level, I've been told it's sort of like a Jewish Valentine. I don't want to sort of put that dem, you know, demeaningly, but basically um, where you find your wife out in the field. Think Boaz, right? Think all these things where they go out and they get their bride, right? The bride of Christ is out in the field looking up, awake, alert, and watching <laughs> waiting for the bridegroom to come. Wouldn't that be a great day to come to snatch away his bride on that day? So again, I just want to make a quick little video, throw this out there because 777 days from the day that that magazine was released is coming up August 13th. So I just thought I'd throw that out there. Some very other interesting dates. And if you guys go out and do some other research and look at these other dates, and I'm telling you, map some of the events and see if it lines up exactly with what God is saying. I'm going to end it with this. This is the last one. Since we all know time is extremely short, <laughs> make sure. <laughs> I love this. I love this slide. <laughs> Table for one. Confirm your reservation today. What does this mean? Before the foundation of the world, the Father chose you and placed you in his Son Christ. And he filled you and sealed you with the Holy Spirit. And in your time, in your reality, he revealed himself and you have your choice to say yes or no, to receive or reject, to confirm your reservation or not. But God chose you. He chose us all and he wants all of us saved. But it's our choice. That's, that's just amazing. So. Please confirm your reservation today. Accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins. The Father's receiving you. Woo! You're going to be ready to be found worthy in Christ to escape all the things that are coming on the earth and to stand before the Son of Man because that is happening and it's happening sooner than you think. Oh, this is so amazing. So, guys, we love all of you guys. We're going to end it with that. The bridegroom is returning for his bride. Look up. Be ready. We gone. You guys, just have a wonderful, wonderful day. Maranatha, we love you guys. Love on somebody. And see Jesus Christ in the clouds. God bless you guys. <laughs> Adios.